now the next topic in our adder form is floating fields so what is floating fields take example we want to pre, uh, print this first sentence like your order is confirmed total order value is inr and the amount but here this inr and the amount will come from the sales document and we want this two field to appear dynamically based on the sales data so first we have to write our sentence as it is and then we have to mark those field as the floating and we have to bind with the variables this concept most of the time we use in a smart form also a simple concept just here term is different a floating field in a smart form also we do this kind of thing we type the complete sentence and in between we insert the variables the same concept is here but here it is called as the floating fields so let's log it go to adobe form editor and learn how to add this this t code sfp this is the form name on which i am working currently and here my fields are already there in this work area and i want to bind net wr and w a r k so go to layout now in case if you are not able to see the all the data in proper format go to palettes workplace reset palette location and also if you want to do any kind of zoom zoom in zoom out go to view click on zoom okay so now what is my requirement here the last time i observed like when i added the fields here automatically some fields are coming here so i will delete this all first i don't know how the additional fields are coming at the top fine so let's let's say i want to add the floating fields here okay so what i will do first add a simple text field insert a standard and text okay drag and drop here select the text field here <coughs> this is my text field and now what i will do here i will add that sentence your total order value is xyz okay your order is confirmed total order value is inr xyz amount now the requirement is this inr and this amount you want to bind with the variable go to that uh, palettes and data view i want to bind with net wr and wark of the js underscore header so double click on this text field only that text field inr right click and select floating field okay then here in the object we can see one option as bind go to binding select js header first is w a r k select this okay so we have bind w a r k now the next field double click here on this field again right click floating field and in the object if you are not able to see this go to palettes and click on object okay now in the binding option now i will bind to the amount field that is net wr fine so here i have bind two fields okay one is the currency this one and second is the amount okay let me allow go to next field for both save <clears throat> 
close this check and activate execute enter the order number here as 1 I forgot to remove the breakpoint before next test I will remove that ok so let's check the value first in the debugging mode in gs underscore header it is 200 and INR ok press F8 see the output here here we can see your order is confirmed total order value is this is INR and 200 fine in this way we can add the floating field now let me pass some other value some other order ok I am entering 2 this time I just want to check cross check the values now this time in the header oh I think there is no order number 2 in the system yeah it is size of us equal to 4 ok so let me check some existing order value now here we cannot say anything <coughs> let me check some other order in the VBAK table that will pass so that we can cross check whether data which is coming is right or wrong ok here is order 2 is there don't know why it is not coming some internal issue let me test again some other value 3 F6 again size so is equal to 4 some issue with the system I am facing while passing the order number even with the VS03 this is not getting display VS03 sales area not defined ok some issue with the sales area that's why it is not <coughs> showing all the details but as we have done testing with the order number 1 in the same way if you have like valid orders in your system that you can check Fine, let me come out of this breakpoint first and again I will check first order that is 1 fine so here we can see the floating points the floating fields are working fine so like this way we can add the floating fields so in this way we done with the session thank you